Hey guys, Danielle and Alexis here from Retro Fitness of Kendall, New Jersey. We're bringing another HIIT workout to you for today. So what do we need? We need some space, we need some water, and we need a good attitude because we're going to get into it. All right guys, we're going to start nice, easy warm up, bounce side to side. Start to shake everything out, roll the shoulders, light on the feet, now bring your knees up. Easy jog in place. All right, so the key to HIIT training is hitting those cardio peaks, knowing when to recover, and getting back into it quickly. Heels to butt. All right, we're gonna start with some lateral work. Ready? Shuffle, tap. Shuffle, tap. That's it, gradually work closer to the floor. Keep that chest up. Butt goes back. Two more. All right, team, step back lunges. Step back, up. Switch. Good. Back knee. Drop it towards the floor. We're aiming for 90-90. All right, what do you say we hit the deck and hit some push-ups? Come on down to the floor. Knees or toes, push up, down, up. <laughs> Good. Body lowers and lifts in one motion. Elbows slightly back. Chest is getting warm. Let's hit some mountain climbers. Hands in, knee, knee. Nice and slow or run with the beat. Knees close to the floor, shoulders over hands, jump in, on your feet, jumping jacks. Good, toes out, knees soft on that landing. Reach arms up. Almost there, almost there. All right, stop, easy bounce. One more shoulder roll. Open up the chest, arms up and out. All right, so body is nice and loose. Heart rate is up. We're feeling warm and ready to go. Alexis, why don't you take us through our first workout? All right, so for this workout, we're gonna have four blocks of ascending and then descending ladder training. So that means you got three moves, one rep of each, and then two reps, and then three reps, and we're gonna try and go as high as we can for two minutes, okay? So we're gonna start with cardio. Your first move, we've got the skater, we've got high knees, and then we've got a star jump or a jumping jack. So on the skaters, that's one rep, high knees, one, two, that's one rep. And then either one here or one here. There you go. Then you hit it two, then three, and we're gonna see how many reps you can get up to in two minutes. This is so gonna get really intense. So pull back when you need to, come down when you need to, but try and push yourself as hard as you can. Two minutes. All right, here we go. Two minutes on the clock. Let's go. One, 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 then two, two, and two. Keep going as hard as you can. On the skater, push off the sides of your feet, lift your chest up, and then use your arms as you push yourself side to side. On the high knees, bring your hands over your head to make it a little harder, and drive your knees above your waist. Okay, that's a high knee. Toes down, chest up. If you need to, you can pump the arms on the high knees if you're not getting the height you want. Then on the jumping jack, knees soft, arms overhead, and then if you want to elevate, star jump, land soft, star jump, land soft. All right, almost one minute down, keep it up. How many reps you guys at? I'm at six. Six, one, two, six, seven, seven.
Now, always, always think about your next move, okay? If you're on the skater, think about the high knees. How hard are you gonna push them up? If you're on the high knees, think about that star jump. Up, down, up, down, up, down. If you need to at any time, another option, take a little step side to side. Your heart rate should be feeling it right now. This is hit training. You got 20 seconds. you got in the first round. So if you started at nine, you're gonna try and make your way all the way back down to one before the two minutes are up. If you finish before the two minutes are up, good for you, you get a little more recovery. Everyone know your number? Take five more seconds, let that heart rate come down. Like Alexa said, you're starting with that max number of reps you started, you ended with, and we're going down. Ready? The goal Three, is to get to one. Two. One, go. go. Remember guys, take the options too if you need it. But if you can, I want you to elevate. Relax your body so you can get that massive amount of speed. Push your feet down, crunch your abs in. And breathe, breathe, breathe. Come on. to his max with cardio training. Woo. Elbows, no <laughs> high fives. All right, team, second ladder, same format. Three moves, start with one rep, climb up for two minutes, start at your max rep, count down till you get to one. Here's your strength training, check it. Squat is one, one lunge on each side is another one. Inchworm, that's your three. Then hit two squats, two lunges each side, two inchworms. All right, team, five more seconds to recover. Five seconds to think about it. Three, two, let's climb the ladder. Squat. One, one, inch more. Good, now two, one, two, two lunges. There we go, inch more. One more. All right, now you hit three. Butt back and down. Weight in the heels. Lunges. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Inch worm. Three, two, one. Now, what do you notice about that inch worm? It starts with a squat. Four squats. Four, four, three, three, 
two, two, one, one, four. Walk out to that plank. Keep that core tight. Three. All right, you're one minute down. Five reps. Five, four, three, two, one. Lunges. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Remember, this ladder is muscular strength. We're getting the core and the legs and the arms nice and tight. Three, two, one. What number you at, Lex? Four. All right, let's hit six. Awesome work team. Take 20 seconds. Think about that number. You got to six. Now flip the ladder. Start with six, go down to one. You only got to four, that's cool. Start with four, go down to one, then you earn your recovery. You finish before the timer, you get an extra couple seconds to breathe. So that should motivate you to push yourself <laughs> even harder. Are we ready? Two minutes. On the clock, highest rep. Go, squat. Lunge. Inchworm. One more. First set's the hardest set. We're battling fatigue. All right, I'm counting down. Going to five. Chest stays up. You need to modify the split lunge. Alternating step back lunge. Two, one, one. Remember, hands stop right in line with those shoulders. Shoulders don't pass hands, and hands don't stop out here. Count down. Four, two, one, four. Four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Are you sweating yet? Woo! <laughs> one more. All right, team, you got 35 seconds on the clock. Don't think about it. Just get into the next move. Get to that finish line. One, two, one, one, two, two. Oh, I'm on one, I'm on one. Seven seconds to recover. Awesome work team, there's that timer. All right, hold, breathe. We're halfway through our line of work. Grab some water. All right. Next up, same deal, three new moves. So, you're gonna start down on the ground, hands outside shoulders, knees or toes. You got one push up, one power burpee, and then one squat jump, okay? Leg power, and then upper body on the push up is the goal for this one. So everybody, come on down to the ground. One, one, and one. Then two, two, and two. Three, three, and three. Three, two, Ready? one, go. Now remember, you can always modify on the push-ups by starting down on your knees and then walking the legs in if jumping is too much. Drop your chest down, elbow crease, 
Then on the power burpee, you want to stay nice and low. Then on the squat jump, chest up, use the arms, push your knees out, and then push down into the heels, into the floor. Great conditioning right here for the core. As you pull the knees in, lift your chest up. Then go right into the next move. Don't think about it. Just let your body move naturally with the music and the motion. You're about halfway there. Keep it coming. On that power burpee, make sure you sit yourself nice and low, lift your chest up, and push your knees out. Like you're dropping into a real low squat, okay? Good job, keep it up. Oh, squat boy. jump. What number are you on? Seven. Woo! That's gonna be a big descend. And remember guys, right before you're really about to fatigue, take a step back, breathe, and then come back in when you're ready. You've only got 10 seconds. Time. Good stuff, good push. You know the deal. Let's drop it back down. Everybody has your number? Mine's seven. Take That's a few a more seconds. <laughs> it's a hot ladder to come down. Alright, two minutes on. Five, four, come on down. Three, two, one, descend. Alright, as you shoot your legs out, use your knees, crunch them in so you work your lower abs. on your knees, walking the legs with the burpee, on the ground squat. But if you can, elevate your heart rate and push your max, all right? Let's do this. Wherever you're at today, listen to your body. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Inhale, exhale. This should be hard. It's gonna make you harder. Push. How much height can you get on that squat jump? Good job, guys. <sighs> Just under the water. And hey, if you didn't make it to zero, don't worry about it. As long as you're sweating, huffing, and puffing, you did it right, and you hit your goal. Good job. All right. If you can believe it, <laughs> we got one more cardio ladder for you. Take a breath. Grab your water. That's right. I said one more. One more block. Four minutes. All right, here are your moves. The L tap. Tap, explode up. Jump to the other side, reach for the inside of your foot. Second move, 
Final move. Burpee. Tuck jump. One, one, two, two, three, three. Up to your max. If you need to modify, side lunge on the J cap. Burpee. Walk the feet back. No jump. Two minutes. You can do it, guys. Woo. Climb that last ladder. Three, two, one. J tap. Burpee. Tuck jump. Now two for two. One, two. Burpee. Tuck your knees up. That's two. Three, two, one. Remember, anytime if you need, walk it back. Just hold. Walk it back. Just hold. You need to modify here. Side lunge. Three, two, one. You got one minute down. One minute to go. Remember, the higher you climb here, the more you have to climb down in the second time. Oh, thanks for the reminder. <laughs> Come on, put that butt back. Get closer to the floor. If you need, walk the burpees. I know I need it. You should be breathing heavy. It should be a struggle. Four ladders, one workout. One minute down, one minute to go. One minute to push it. Seconds. 
awesome. Give yourselves a clap. All we got left for you, abs, cool down. So take a recovery, grab some water. When you're ready, come on down to the ground. All right, five minutes to the end. All right guys, so 10, 10, and 10. Three moves, 10 reps a piece, as many rounds as you can in three minutes, okay? So, you've got flutter kicks. One, two, three. Join in when you're ready. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Legs up, rope grab. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Good. Shoulders up, reach for the toes. Once you got ten, lift up, bend the knees. Russian twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then do it again. So, lower ab movement. Then on the reach, we got upper ab movement. Grab, pull, grab, pull. You can keep it slow if you wanna go for a big range. Or if you want some speed, grab the tension in the upper abs. Then crunch up, reach side, side. One, two, one, two. Do your best, keep your feet off the floor, but if you need to, you can set them down and just slow it down side to side. Remember, as many rounds as possible, so go for speed. On this move, you wanna push your lower back down into the ground. Lift your arms up if it helps. Then on the rope reach, imagine it. Up there, pull, up there, pull. And remember, the higher you reach, the more you're gonna work your upper abdominals. Inhale, exhale, you got it. Punch up, do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got one minute left, so let's see what you're made of. If you can, reach a little higher. Come on, peel the sweaty shoulders up off the ground. Oh, they're sweaty. How fast can you go on the Russian twist? One, two, three, four. Oblique work, yes. Can you get two more rounds in? That's my challenge to you. Come on, reach for it. Your goal was right there. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, and time. Woo! Let's go for a quick stretch to finish. Come into a child's pose. Push your knees out, sit back. Arms long, deep, deep, deep exhale. Stretch through your arms, release in the shoulders. Gently walk your hands in. Whew, let's get a little downward dog action. Push the toes down, hands to the ground, head pushed to the legs, hips up nice and high. Get a big stretch down the hamstrings. Alright, gently drop your knees down. Step your right leg forward. Release your back toes. Sing into your hip. Big inhale, arms up. Good. Take a little twist over to the side. Look over your back shoulder. Gently unwind, release, switch. Sink. Breathe. Turn. Heart rate coming down. Sweat tripping. Sweat dripping off the arms, off the face. Gently come on up to standing. Get a big quad stretch. Heel to butt, knees together. Damn, that was a good workout. Well, switch. You. And it's one you can build with. Definitely. It's one you can keep improving. 
The great thing about HIT is that you decide your intensity. Roll out your arms, chest stretch, shoulder stretch. HIT training keeps those calories burning all day long. So if you joined us in the morning, you're good for the rest of the day. All right, shake it out. Big shoulder roll, deep breath in. And time. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Hope you had a good workout. We'll see you again next time. Stay safe out there. Bye, everyone.